So last year I ran a test of Pure Pond to see how it compared to just using some matured media uh, to start a filter off and I found the matured media was much more effective. Um, but I did see that Pure Pond did alter the results slightly from the control so there was something going on but it wasn't particularly significant compared to using the other media. So I'm going to do a different test now. I'm going to see how well Pure Pond can um, accelerate the growth of your uh, the maturing of your filter, the growth of those bacteria. Okay, we've got two tests here, we've got 10 litres of water in each of them, they're at the ambient temperature outside which is probably, it's around 15 degrees there if you can see it slightly difficult to see, but it's about 15 degrees. We've got a bottle in each and I've got one piece of K3 that I've taken from my mature uh, filter and I've got four pieces of uh, brand new K3 that have never been used before uh, and the idea is I'm going to see how long it takes for those to uh, build up a decent bed of bacteria. So I've put some household ammonia in, them, in there. I've done it to uh, about two milligrams per litre. And as each week passes, I'm going to put in an extra uh, four pieces of K3. I'm going to mark them with a marker pen. And um, after a number of weeks, I'm going to then have uh, a whole set of different pieces of media that have been in for different lengths of time and I can see how quickly the bacteria grow. This is two tests really, this is a test to see how Pure Pond helps with your filter maturing and it also just sees how long it takes for a filter to mature. So let's get them in. Okay we're a week in now and I've uh, tested the water to see, make sure there's plenty of ammonia there because I want them to be um, uh, have plenty of food to work with uh, and there's not much nitrite so uh, that means that it's uh, uh, perhaps that one piece of K3 has been turning a little bit into nitrite which is good because it means the bacteria can start growing um, in relation to the nitro reactors as well. Now I've got these other bits here that I've marked, the two marks mean it's the second week so I'm going to put four of those in each and see how they get on. So we're now 11 weeks on and uh, this has developed interestingly, I mean uh, I've uh, put in the air stones because I was finding the, the pipes without an air stone weighting it down meant that they would fluctuate over time and sometimes you wouldn't be getting much bubbles out of one and loads out of the other. So I've put an air stone to make that consistent. Also had to top up the water uh, as evaporation and uh, also sort of spitting from the bubbles meant that the level was going down. And I've done this uh, with a combination of uh, sometimes using pond water and sometimes using tap water uh, because I, I wanted to make sure there was enough nutrients for the bacteria to grow because it struck me that using tap water there's not really much organic substances in the, uh, in the water for the bacteria to grow. I mean I know, I know they do grow to some extent um, irrespective of that but um, so I've used a bit of pond water along the way. Throughout the 11 weeks I've been topping up the ammonia where the nitrite level has dropped. I haven't maintained a high level of ammonia throughout because the ammonia gets converted very quickly to nitrite and there was an awful lot of nitrite floating around so I just wanted that to run its course before adding more ammonia but there's, there's been plenty of food for them to go at during this period. So um, I'm going to focus on the pure pond uh, angle to see which uh, which performs better in terms of which has matured quickest over this 11 week period. Um, and I'm going to do that by emptying out the water in these two, keeping the media and uh, then filling it back up with pond water, uh, putting the same amount of ammonia in and seeing which, uh, basically having a race, seeing which one removes the ammonia quickest. So the race is on, there's about a milligram of ammonia and about 0.25 milligrams of nitrite. We're on the third week now and we've got the results over here. So if we look at the ammonia ones first, without Pure Pond, which is in the background, that removed it after three days, as did the one with Pure Pond. So there was no difference there. The colours of these tests have faded because that was now um, three weeks ago that I took those, so the colours have faded over time. But uh, it's taken quite a long time to get the nitrite test results, so let's have a look at those. Um, so we see over the first three days, uh, we've got Pure Pond in the foreground and then we've got without Pure Pond just slightly behind. After three days both have reached their highest levels of nitrite which you'd expect because that's all the ammonia that's been converted. And then over the subsequent days it reduces 
to a minimum level, the lowest level of around 10 to 12 days, which is pretty similar for both. Um, but then, strangely, both of the tests uh, have nitrite levels that increase. We've got 14 days and 19 days uh, there. And in fact, the one without pure pond has increased by more. So it's not really very clear to me why the levels of nitrite would increase. It suggests that some of the nitrate is being converted back to nitrite. Uh, I'm not sure why it does that here. I don't think it does it in the pond, but um, it's something that uh, is a bit of a baffling um, result of this test. But the key thing is that I'm not seeing any evidence that Pure Pond has made a meaningful uh, improvement in the rate at which my bacteria here are maturing. And, um, and so that's pretty significant. I'm, I'm really scratching my head to try, try and find any evidence that Pure Pond uh, has the sort of level of beneficial impacts that uh, it claims to on the packet. So now on to that question of how quickly does the medium mature? So what I've done here is I've, I've lined up all the pieces of media to show the gradation of colour as the bacteria colonise them uh, over the different periods. So on the far left we've got the matured media from the filter, which has been going for about three years. And then we've got the piece that I put in earliest, um, which has had 14 weeks maturing. And that's a slightly yellow colour compared to the far right, which is a, a piece of media straight out of the packet. Um, which is uh, have no media, uh, no bacteria colonising it whatsoever. So we can see gradations, very mild gradations of yellow, but it's not that significant and demonstrates the length of time that's required in order for these bacteria to build up. So that's the experiment. Uh, I've found that Pure Pond doesn't seem to make any difference in terms of the speed of maturing a filter. We've also found that in some conditions the uh, bacteria uh, reintroduced nitrite into the water and I need to investigate that a bit further but also that the media takes a long time to mature and even three months or a bit over three months is, is not long enough to get uh, your media matured to its full potential. See you on the next video.